Good morning, Pirates. I'm Whitney Hall, and today is Friday, October 5th. The 2013 Beltonian Yearbook is on sale now. To make sure you get yours in May, you must pre-order by October 31st. The cost of a yearbook is $60, and you can pay for it in many different ways. You can pay for it online with the credit card, you can pay for it in cash or by check, and you can also make many different payments to Mr. Carter. If students choose to pay half, they must pay half now and then pay the other half in April. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Carter. Seniors, please be sure to stop by the counseling office to get all your scholarship information. Mark your calendars now. Winter Guard auditions will be held on Monday, October 22nd and Wednesday, October 24th from 5.30 to 9 o'clock p.m. in the upper gym. There's more information to come. FCCLA will be having a lemonade stand during lunch on Friday and Monday in the cafeteria. They will be selling lemon slushies and other lemon treats to help raise money for childhood cancer. If you have not yet downloaded the Belton app for your iPhone and Android phones, your administrators strongly encourage you to do so. All you have to do is go to the app store on your iPhone or your Android phone and type in Belton and you will see the Belton logo. This app includes activities, times and dates for important meetings like when Jostens comes, and other many cool things. Be sure to get it. Any student that is going to be 18 on or before November 6th and would like to vote in this upcoming election should see Ms. Matney in the office to get help filling out a voter registration form. To fill out a voter registration form, you must be a U.S. citizen and a Missouri resident. We are in need of five athletic ambassadors to help with the next two home football games. Duties will include helping out with elementary school night, helping with senior night, handing out giveaways, and other duties. You would only have jobs during pregame and halftime. During the actual game, you could sit in the stands. Plus, you get in for free and you get a t-shirt. Talk to Ms. Ellison if you are interested. You don't have to be an athlete, but you do have to be in good standing with grades and discipline and, of course, a fan of the Pirates. The first step practice is October 10th, and you must be there after school in the cafeteria. School-appropriate clothing is okay, but you must be able to move. If you want to change, you can do so quickly, but we are starting practice promptly at 245. You will be done by 4 p.m. If you have any questions, please talk to Ms. Delap in room 209. The Lady Pirates clinched their fifth conference championship after they beat Fort Osage on September 28th. And now they are keeping their 22 game winning streak alive with their win against Scion. Dalen went 2-3 as Belton took home a 3-2 victory. She singled in the first inning and in the seventh inning. Andy Biano got the win to Belton thanks to 10 strikeouts. She allowed one earned run on five hits and one walk in seven innings. The Pirates will play in the district championship on Friday at 4 p.m. at Ray Peck. Everyone should go and encourage our ladies. The varsity volleyball team won their first home game over North Kansas City, with both matches being 25 to 14. They would like to thank their awesome cheering student section. Thank you, donors. Yesterday we collected 125 units of blood. That's a big deal. Together we saved lives and made the world a better place. We look forward to seeing you all on April 18th for our spring blood drive. Happy birthday to all our past October birthdays. October 1st. Jesus Chavez, Brianna Crockett, Caitlin Mills, Nina Romero, and Tabitha Stang. October 2nd, Amber Coltis. Happy birthday to Trevor Lewis and Bradley Owens. I'm Whitney Hall, and remember, Pirates, keep it classy. Yeah. My heart is